What's going on guys? Just wanted to make a quick trade recap video from this morning taken from the live stream on Discord. So with the 9.30 open, we ran down into the London low here, sweeping out the liquidity right on NQ. Started to trade back up. Now I was interested in the buy side liquidity from Thursday. You can see the swing high up here. Um, left some buy side at the top of the wick. So right prior to the 950 macro, we did run it out. But you can see we had this tiny um, SIBI. I was wondering to see if we wanted to short this potentially and create a market maker sell model like we did. But I was watching to see how we reacted off of this SIBI. You can see we traded up into it. Now, one thing that pointed to NQ potentially heading for their sell side was that ES. You can see the SMT divergence up here. We came up, swapped out the short-term high one more time, and then started trading back lower on NQ. You can see we failed to do that. So we have SMT divergence up here as we started to trade back lower. Now, once we broke below this up-closing candle in here, right? So every single time you're in a sell program and you're in an expansion model, you want to see all those up closing candles in this case respected so we came up filled the sibi we had smt divergence at the high and we broke back lower creating a short-term market structure shift below here then you can see price comes up and taps into the low end of this order block as well as this sibi right in here so that to me indicated we probably were going to target the sell side down here now we did have a little bit more sell side below that you can see on the 15 minute chart on this left side, we had some relative equal lows right here. So this is my draw on liquidity. We traded back up and then closed back below. So this order block now should be validated. So you can see the low end. So you can see if we drag that out, price comes up, basically fills all the way up to the premium end of that order block, right? Now this is where I went short with two contracts, basically that run up into the discount and then added one more. I was targeting um, 50% of this daily range here as my first partial. You can see we fell short of discount right here, traded back up. Um, so I was looking for consequent encroachment of this gap here. You can see we did dip through it, but close back below. Now we validated this order block here, right? We have this up closing candle range. So you wanted to see that this entire range is held. Close back below, you can also see the inversion order block right here. So on this buy side of the curve, you have this down closing candle traded up through it and then we respected it multiple times. So this here should be your inversion order block. Now I just made a video recently on inversion order blocks and how to use them. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description. You can go check that out. But started to trade back lower, tapped into this BSE, taking out the short term sell side below here. And then we trade back up, tapping into this consecutive order block, right? As well as the SIBI right here. Just to the just tiny wick into it and then we started training back lower now this here would be your propulsion block as well as since we closed below this old selling you really don't want to see any return um, above this old high but more importantly really above this high once we start to break down so close below the old selling that's your inversion order block you have an order block in here as well as the sibi so price should not pass those three pd rays you don't want to see a trade above this sibi premium end started to trade back lower you can see we validated this order block now and we didn't even see a run up into it after we closed below. This fell short. Tapped into this busy um, midpoint. You can mark that out really quick. Closing below, bearish indication right with this busy. And you can see we accelerated downwards into the sell side liquidity. So I'll put the screenshot up on the chart right now. And you can see the entries and exits. It's a good 40 um, ish points. 40 points from the first entry down into this midpoint here, 36 points. And then we also had good 90 ish points, I think, down to the swing low. So after we took out the sell side here, if you take your high to low, so dealing ranges would be from a buy side sweep to a sell side sweep. You draw that out, you can see price coming up and filling the inversion once more, tapping into premium, right? And then we start to sell off once more. So hopefully you're able to learn something from that and the applications of the inversion order blocks, as well as just this clean market maker cell model that I wanted to cover. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And until I see you next time, good luck and good trading.